seriously right. that's like an icebreaker right there like for real my name is lauren and my dad works at a he's on the front <laughs> lines like you guys have heard from grocery store clerks doctors <laughs> nurses but who have you heard from that's talking about toilet paper not many <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome back, guys. Yeah. Today we are talking about things to do in quarantine. It's been two weeks now. Yeah, something like, no, like I don't even know. Over so much longer than that, it feels like. It's been like an roughly like three weeks, but yeah, kind of more like an eternity, a small lifetime. Yeah. Right, well, I am here with Sydney. Hello, hi, what's up? And Lauren. <laughs> it's me. Hello, here I am. Lauren has <laughs> been uh, watering her pants. Pants. Yes. <laughs> you've, been, <laughs> you've been watering your pants religiously since the start of the quarantine. I meant to say plants. Okay. So we'll start with Sydney. What are your go-to quarantine activities? Because oh, we're all going crazy. Yeah. I've definitely been that millennial that has been jumping on TikTok for sure. Oh, no. I haven't made a TikTok in like five days. I'm like kind of getting like the shakes from it. You know, I got to get my taste of tiktok but i've been doing that actually i've been pretty productive too i'm gonna be like that bitch can we swear yes okay <laughs> it's actually encouraged yeah that <laughs> <beep>. <laughs> i've been like that annoying person that's like i'm teaching myself how to do photoshop i'm doing this i've been like trying to be productive but at the same time it's like exhausting so do you want do you want to plug your tiktok because that's oh my encouraged. tiktok yes camera eye contact is cine jaws 10 there you go Oh, I've been saying your last name wrong this whole time. Yeah, you were like, <laughs> Sydney Yos. Because <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were like Polish or something. Yeah, it's like, so my like, last name is like... what's your last name, actually? It's Polish, it's like Yushviak, but like normal oh, Lord. people, <laughs> it's just Jazwiak. But I like Damn, shorten I still it, was saying jazz. Wrong. But right. yeah. It's fine. Jazz. <laughs> well, you go, Lord. learn something new every day. Yep. Um. Yeah, I've also been trying to be like, Oh my god, everyone, let's learn a new skill. So I've been on Skillshare. Um, I taught myself We're not sponsored, I swear. Yeah. We're not sponsored, but you can get your first two weeks for free. You not Lo sponsored. You could Lauren Russell. Yeah. <laughs> Lauren exploring. <laughs> Why isn't that your name? Oh my god. Yeah, I that's know. Lauren, Lauren, I told her that. Uh, I, I wanted to that. make it that, but then <sighs> after you said that, I was like, oh, I'm going to have to give him credit. <laughs> there you go. You, you are now I'm going to change my Lauren. handle as soon as I leave here. Yes. Change my whole like yes. branding. Yes. Um, so yeah, taught myself Illustrator to an extent, um, launched my freelance page, um, Ooh, started what? my Instagram page for this business I want to launch this year. It's like an Airbnb experience <sighs> business. Um, and yeah, bought The Sims. It's on sale for $4.99. Have been playing that religiously. Wow. Hell yeah. Um, and gardening. I have some squash coming in, some strawberries, lots of herbs, all on my porch. In The Sims? No, or, in real life. Okay. And on The Sims. All right. Because I know people are all over that Animal Crossing stuff. Can you have farms in Animal Crossing? Yeah. I, I don't you, know. You plant um, trees. And oh. you can have, or at least I haven't played like the Switch Animal Crossing that everybody's yeah. playing. But like when I played on like my DS and stuff, you know, you make some like apple trees. Oh, you make them. Yeah. You make <laughs> you apple trees. Plant apple trees. I like so. it. <laughs> but and, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for a little more context, uh, Sydney is a YouTuber. Yes. And Lauren explores things and puts it on Instagram, yeah. which okay, is going to be thanks. under the handle <laughs> Exploring Lauren now. So that's what I'm going to put in the video. I really hope it's not taken because that's amazing. That would be a bummer if it yeah. was. You could just spell Exploring wrong. Spell it like Lauren. Yeah. yeah. Are you changing it right now? I'm checking. Okay. <laughs> I love this. I literally, though, when I like talk about you, Lauren, I'm like, yeah, my friend Laura gets lost. <laughs> and like, <laughs> like, I feel like when you make internet friends, you just refer to no, each same. other by their handles. Seriously. Like, that's the same. world we live in now. It's like, yeah, my friend Laura gets lost. Okay, like, something that should be illegal is having an Instagram account handle if you don't use it. <laughs> like, why? Okay, another it should thing, be illegal. It should be illegal. <laughs> they should come arrest you. Like, <laughs> This person literally has not posted since 2016, yet I can't have her. That's rude. It's rude. So rude. It's just, disrespectful. Just spell Explorin like you would spell Lauren, but... Yes. Explorin. Everyone calls me Laura, though. Pretty much 90% of the people that meet me oh. call me Laura. Happy to be part of the 10%. Don't know why. <laughs> they just don't read. <laughs> Even, like, brands that reach out to me, they'll be like, hi, Laura. I'm like, does anyone read? Yep. Did you even look at the profile? Yeah. 
Yeah, you know, you guys had some really inspirational quarantine activities. I have recently discovered Minecraft Bedrock Edition, which means I can play on PC. With... Nerd. Yeah. <laughs> you say that like it's a bad thing. Okay. That is, it's a good thing. And I have probably put in at least 20 hours since the start of quarantine. Nerd. Yes. Why don't you plug your own video game that you've been building? Oh. Um, because literally it's just a version of one of my friends as a spider running down our apartment hallways, you know. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave that be, you know? I don't think that we needs to be. We got some of the characters that are in it. What? Do you wanna talk about any of the characters? I don't know. Was... You know, can we get back on topic here, Lauren? Yeah. I don't I don't appreciate being <laughs> Lauren's exposed. Lauren's like, this like is this. my podcast now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi, welcome to she my podcast. She is interviewing you. <laughs> yeah. It's I about mean, influential women in business. Heck that yeah. would actually be fun. You know, you should do the first episode of your podcast in the studio. Right now. We'll uh-huh. upload it. At the same time. <laughs> Definitely. We should we should Cross have dueling podcasts. marketing. Yes. yes. <laughs> this is how we grow. Should we start a, should we start a, a cloud house? Yes. Yeah. Oh, you mean um, the dropout house? Yes. Yeah, it's going to be the just like house. the dropout house, but... It's right here. It's and just this space. Yeah, it's just this here. space. It's the unofficial room. Ooh. Hold on, I have it's to got drop a in my ring to it. <laughs> the unofficial room. Yes, as opposed to the official room. It's just not official. There you go. Um, my podcast, Go Off Then. The Go Off House is what it is. <laughs> the Get Off House. <laughs> You don't yikes. get to make it sexy. Big yikes. <laughs> this is not uh, an OnlyFans promotion <laughs> podcast. Could, this could be, I'm just going to switch this the title of this podcast, podcast to If Your Quarantine by. Start an OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah. That's what I've been doing since quarantine started. Times are hard. Love that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> hey, that's an essential business, okay? It is an True. essential business. True. I saw this one tweet and it was like my gynecologist said that she's going to start having appointments via Zoom. And that is when I realized this would be the start to my OnlyFans career. Do you know how many people are like hacking into Zooms though? Oh my God. Like, that's terrifying. Yeah. Like, Nelk just had like the FBI coming after Who? them because they're, uh, they're a YouTube them. prank group and oh. they're like going into Zoom chat rooms. And apparently, FBI is cracking down on that. So, yeah. They're so annoying. (laughs) Guys, let's go crash this conference call. (laughs) That would be hilarious. That's literally them. That's what they sound like. (laughs) I feel bad because I find some of their videos pretty funny. I know. (laughs) Steven's like obsessed with them. Well, not obsessed with them by any means. That's aggressive. But he watches like their videos because they're all like, you know, there's a prankster world that I've discovered, Mm -hmm. you know? I just know all about it now. Unwillingly, I know all yeah. about the prankster world. That's what you've got thrown into now. Yeah, I've signed up for it. I just feel like I don't know how people still get pranked on ASU's campus. I'm like, does no yeah. one ever get on the computer? Yeah. I don't even like watch YouTube that much. And mm-hmm. I still, if someone walked up to me and asked me honestly any question, I would be like, stop. <laughs> <laughs> like, where's the cameras? <laughs> like, yeah. uh, that one guy, I don't know his name, but he's Juan. on. What? Juan, that was epic. I know all of them. <laughs> oh my God. You're like Cody, <laughs> Angry <through> Picnic. <laughs> um, I can't think of his name, but I saw him walk up to someone and like ask them like, hey, do you know where the blank is? And I was like, y'all stupid. <laughs> <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> How do you still get played? <laughs> uh, so does Steven have like a backlog of videos or what is, what is he doing now that we're all quarantined? So that's like really why we moved into the dropout house. Okay. Um, it feels like weird saying that because it's like just happened all like these past few days. But um, yeah, that's why we like all moved in there because like they can't go anywhere because no one's going anywhere, like rightfully yeah. so. Um, and so they're just going to like make kind of more like Nelk style content like within okay. the house, like how like youtubers in like la and everything have like Mm -hmm. houses so they're gonna kind of do like more of that stuff like vlog style but like less intense and like gaudy and scary than milk (laughs) just prank the other residents constantly like just constantly prank you like nonstop. just mentally torment everyone you live with to the point where they don't trust anyone (laughs) yeah yeah traumatize everyone for quarantine yeah so and if you guys it. see me in a few weeks, I'll probably be a different, very scared person. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> you're just coming here and you're Clown. just scared as I'm shit just like... everything. <laughs> uh, love that. <laughs> we stand. Other quarantine activities. What else have you been doing besides self-betterment? Like, what are your guilty pleasures you've been partaking in during quarantine? 
I don't know if I can talk about these. You can <laughs> talk about anything on this podcast. That's the beauty of it. Um. Okay. My. What is it? Yeah. My guilty pleasure. That's the word. Um. Is laying in bed, smoking weed all day, and never putting clothes on. Okay. And watching some sort of docu series. Um. I watched Tiger King or just like a regular TV show. Watched all of Ozark. Um. <laughs> And just sitting there in absolute darkness. Lauren's just butt ass <laughs> naked, high as shit, watching Tiger, Tiger King, King for like twelve hours. Precisely. Oh my god. Oh. I love that. That's amazing. <laughs> wow. What about team. you? Um. Well, mine is not. That's like wow. That's like fun and exciting. <laughs> Mine's not that fun and exciting. I play with my dog. That's. Pretty She's much it. That's dog. not a guilty pleasure. Yeah, that's like, like, that's like that is a good owner move. Mm. That's what it is. <laughs> yes, we just got him um, bark box, and it just that. came, and he was so happy. That's so so, so much fun. Was, was it sponsored? Uh, no, it was not sponsored. Unfortunately, bark box sponsor us. Um, For real. But bark box is like this subscription box service for like your pets and you can like oh. put in everything like if your dog is like a really obnoxious chewer which scout is then like they'll send you more like tough toys um and like treats and stuff and it's just like a monthly thing that's but cute it's actually like such a good idea scout gets like better engagement than me most of the time oh, yeah. <laughs> scout is just doing better than everyone for real like He's I mean, he's just, a dog. What do you, what do you want? You know, yeah, like, he's yeah, a dog. Yeah, like, who wouldn't want to, like, see photos of him? Yeah, like, exactly. For real. Honestly. He can do real. no wrong. Yeah. He's a dog. Yeah, exactly. Um, things are getting crazy, though. My mom just expressed two-day shipped me a roll of toilet paper, a singular roll of toilet paper. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. My That's... dad works at a toilet paper, or he's, it's not a toilet paper factory. It's like a paper factory. <laughs> <laughs> my dad works at a <laughs> toilet paper factory. That should just be the entire podcast. Is yeah. My dad works at a toilet paper factory. Do you know how many people would like tune into that right now? For real. Lauren, why like, is this not what, on your the Tinder? The inside yeah. of working at a toilet paper factory during the COVID <laughs> Bring your dad on, okay? That's going to get hell of you. Seriously, right? that's like an icebreaker right there. Like, For real. My name is Lauren and my dad works at a toilet He's on the factory. front lines. Like you guys have heard from grocery store clerks, doctors, nurses. But who have you heard from that's talking about toilet paper? Not many. <laughs> but yeah, so he works at a like a paper factory. And I asked him if he would mail me toilet paper. And he was like, no. And I was like, wow. why? And he was like... Because by the time it gets there, if you would just go and in the middle of the day when they restock, you would find some. And I was like, that's not true, dad. You just don't want me to have toilet paper, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Went to Target midday. Got a roll of toilet paper. Got like a 24 pack. There was tons. Oh, yeah. Wait. So what have you been? What's your oh, yeah. bad hobbies? Or what's your good hobbies? Or are what they the bad same? bad hobbies? Minecraft Bedrock Edition for 24 <laughs> hours. I mean, like we've been over this. What's your good hobby? <laughs> My good hobby in programming. I'm stuck inside. And also, I'm going to be a bartender. So I have been Fun. reading up on all the different types of drinks. Um, you should watch those TikToks where it's like, and then you mix the thing. <laughs> I have not been on TikTok all that much, and I have not seen those videos. But if you guys would like to do that again, I wouldn't be opposed. <laughs> 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 all right so <laughs> i can slide you an example later okay perfect yeah send me your memes actually yeah the kid i nanny makes tiktoks like no one's business and so i now know every tiktok trend because of her i know a few dances i, I know a few dances I too i know the savage dance that's my biggest flex i'm i oh, want to yeah. put that on my resume do it right now i can't what is it wait it's like here i'm a savage wait no yeah. let me let me let me play the song real quick classic bougie nasty. ratchet <laughs> sassy moody nasty nasty oh they throw What's it back happening? so hard i know don't I've expect seen, me to throw it back like that i have I seen can't. some girl's ass come above her head yeah it's crazy it's like, are you okay I'm like damn y'all got talent I'm like, can't if relate. you want to call for it real. that i'm like i just got this fat ass for nothing <laughs> <laughs> Can't dance it's for anything. display only. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for real. <laughs> so, all these fast food places are still open, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, I understand that for some people those are important, but also, I don't trust them right now. Like, you don't know Ooh. what's going on back there. Ooh. Because I mean, they said that they're touching your food, and they don't know because they might not show symptoms. I mean, yeah. you go to work every day, and then also, also a big thing. So in Illinois. 
they are having it. So she's from Illinois too. Wait, I Illinois was like, drop. Yeah. Illinois. <laughs> yeah, I'm from Illinois too. Wait, where? Uh, I was Burbs. like two hours south of Chicago. Okay, I'm yeah. north of Chicago. Okay, gotcha. So. Burbs, babes, the burbs. There you go. <laughs> but they're having like the credit card readers are reaching out and having mm-hmm. people just swipe their yeah. own card because people are still like trading cards out here mm-hmm. and like that's not good. Actually, we went to Dutch Rose this morning because we ran to Walmart this morning to get like household stuff for the dropout house and um, <laughs> dropout house 2020. That geeks me out so hard. <laughs> I feel just so like cringy saying it. Like I live in the drop. I feel like you're like, like a like a actual like this is your official moment now. Yeah, like yeah. you are the, you live in a YouTube house. Yeah, you are the first lady of the dropout house. <laughs> Seriously, the ladies of dropout house. You're Miss Dropout. <laughs> you're Miss Dropout. Miss dropout. <laughs> Gosh, um, yeah. Without but, context, that's really funny. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> yikes! Big yikes. Um. But yeah, we went to Dutch Bros after we ran to Walmart and like they did that. They like had like Steven like swipe the card and then it was like that awkward thing. Like obviously we tip and everything, but it was like the awkward. She's like holding the iPad and she's like tip or no tip. And And Steven's like, of course, like throw a dollar on there. And she's like, okay. And then she's like, I'm just going to put an X for your signature. And he's like, cool. So they did that at Dutch Bros, but also Dutch Bros is like above yeah. Everyone, yeah, they're like above the influence. Yeah, yeah, they're you just like good. At they're on their own. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but uh, Starbucks did that too. I think it's yeah. so coffee shops. They're picking up. Yeah, they're picking up. Yeah, yeah the places know. that tend to be like the most ethical in regards to like fast food. I feel like. Yeah, I feel like I Taco know. Bell should be up there. They're usually yeah. like on point with like their ethics. Yeah, yeah. yeah. From Taco what Bell I've seen. is ethical. Yeah, they don't even use real meat. <laughs> so there you go. No. <laughs> <laughs> I guess like my thing with that is just like. Mm, yeah no you're right like i just i mean i've worked at like enough restaurants to realize that there's a certain percentage of people that just really don't give a fuck like yeah. they just don't change their gloves like they don't wash their mm-hmm. hands if they do it's just like running water over their hands you know like yeah. there are just those people that live on this planet with us unfortunately and so i think that if you are choosing to go to restaurants like that's like a risk you're willing to take i guess like the thing is is like it's a lot easier to be a governor and be like okay local places you have to close like gym stuff like that you have to close but like to try to tell mcdonald's who is like this huge business like with so much power to be like you have to close all of your stores like those money greedy skanks they will not do that mcdonald's lightly. just shuts down the government <laughs> <laughs> the government tries to shut down mcdonald's and mcdonald's shuts down the government start of sins in tanks yeah, yeah. Like, also i love that you just called mcdonald's skanks <laughs> you heard it here first mcdonald's more like mcskanks got Ooh. him Ooh. seriously yeah. <laughs> seriously old mcskank <laughs> Ronald McSkankled. McDonald's, um, uh, sponsor us, please. <laughs> yeah, please sponsor us. We love you. Yeah, right. <laughs> Shamrock Shake, please. Um, but yeah, so I just feel like it's more of a matter of like it's harder to get those places to close. And at the same time, a lot of people working those jobs in the reality are people who actually really need them rather yeah. than like this idea that like people that work fast food jobs are like only teenagers. Mm-hmm. I think like the reality is like a lot of people that work in the restaurant industry actually have like families and stuff like that so it's a lot harder to like come to conclusions to close every single restaurant because so many people like rely on that for their income yeah true coming back to the like video sponsor thing this is completely off topic but i just have to mention it it's been on my mind for a long time so there's these big youtubers right that get paid by like raid shadow legends and all this stuff to do these these sponsorships what if you tried to like do like a ransom for a sponsor. You're like, I'm going to make a video trashing your brand unless you sponsor me. Oh my God. Whoa. I'm going to start Is pitching that illegal? brands that. I'm going to start I... pitching brands be like, I'm going to drag your brand if you don't give me free yeah. things. I mean. But like also, <laughs> you know, it's like the old saying, all press is good press. So That's like true. if they're a smart brand, they're just going to be like, all right, screw you. Like, trash us but also are you relevant enough to really bring us down and impact our sales or i'm like this is like the back of my mind and like my intelligence showing maybe Mm -hmm. i just like self-proclaim that i might not be intelligent at all but yes this is my social media manager coming out 
um but you know like a brand could just be like all right cool like you're giving us all this attention like minutes of attention to your thousands of followers like keep on talking you know you're like, assuming they're intelligent though have you read the emails from these sponsorship places because some of them are oh yeah oh sweetie. some of those yeah. we've got some <laughs> interesting <laughs> emails yeah i could go through my emails like, read you a couple interesting messages i've job. gotten oh my god yeah there was one a couple days ago actually it was like a self-tanning brand not a big one either might i add like i've never heard of them i don't even self-tan so like i wouldn't accept it anyways because it's irrelevant for like me mm-hmm. and like my they're irrelevant just brand. leave it at yeah, that like, you guys are irrelevant. irrelevant wait we are no 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 the, no, the, 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 the self-tanning <laughs> brand <laughs> not you uh, fun and then um <laughs> but yeah like so they they aren't kind of like they're small you know like yeah. you know whatever power to them if people like fall for like their shit but um yeah they like emailed me they're like oh my god girl you know it always like is oh, like yeah. that like so like mm, Ooh, mlms mm-hmm. love those too and everything yeah and so they were like all we ask for is three instagram posts like feed posts stories like they like didn't say a number but we're like we want three permanent instagram posts stories and we'll give you free product which is probably like worth twenty dollars yeah and And in actuality worth like 20 cents yeah yeah like (laughs) yikes and then they even like put in parentheses or you could post more if you want and like (laughs) no like Like, get out of my face three pictures of my toe yeah yeah yeah, exactly (laughs) that i took without moving wait listen lauren that would probably be way more valued than what they're worth true that's real. you can yeah. sell Seriously, toe picks for back. hella cash true. man really yeah. like yeah. no just... companies will really try to play you like oh, yeah. they will try to scam your ass like yeah. like she said like or like i got this message from this whiskey company the other day and they were like we want you to create a custom recipe and shoot the content we want like it was like two static posts or so like two permanent posts on your feed and then at least three stories and then a swipe up link or a link in your bio. And they were like, just let us know what you think of this blah, 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 blah. So I was like, okay, yeah, sounds fun. Here's my rate. And then they emailed us me back and they were like, well, actually, we um, don't have a budget for this. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, can you just work for free, please? Uh, yeah, like, it's for literally, exposure. That is what yeah. It's yeah. for exposure. It's more exposure because you're getting this $20 bottle of whiskey. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's totally fair. Yeah. Just invent this custom recipe, go out in quarantine and shoot it, and then yeah. send us. Oh, and then they wanted eight to ten high res photos for them to use for branding. I was like, Oh my gosh! Well, damn. I'm. I'm get send it over. Yeah. Let's get started. Yeah, something that was really useful for uh, me is when I was like twelve, I had like a gaming channel. It was kind ooh. of popping though, so we did have some sponsorship deals. So the. I was young though. I didn't know the value of money. Yeah. I didn't know what yeah, I was doing. Right. So if you get Social Blue Book, that will Social tell Blue you Book. what you're oh. worth for a post, yeah. for a video. Mm-hmm. That's what was my go-to, and that saved me a lot of trouble yeah. because I could just redirect all the brands to this is the link to my Social Blue Book. That's the rates I charge. I yeah. guess my issue with Social Blue Book is like I really like it, but not to like plug myself and be like I am amazing, but like I do feel like I have pretty good content oh yeah but like my content compared to the amount of people that follow me is very different that's a so fair like point. yeah mm-hmm. i feel like social blue book is like oh your posts are worth like a hundred dollars but i'm like in actuality i feel like that's not actually true because most of the time if i'm doing a sponsored post i'm like driving out to a location i'm like buying props for it mm-hmm. i'm like waiting for the perfect time shooting the photos driving back editing them like this whole ordeal it's not like i'm like snapping a picture like on my iphone 4 like by a trash can you know so like i just feel like social blue book and i mean it's not their fault because it's just like a simple algorithm but like if you're basing your pricing just off the amount of followers you have i think you're kind of selling yourself short if you know that you have really quality content and you have Mm -hmm. like like i mean like me like i have like very engaged followers like Mm -hmm. and i see people who have more followers than me but who have like less quality content and like less engagement but obviously make more just because of a number so i kind of just try to base my rates off of like how much work i feel like would actually have to go into it yeah 
we need to True. have another separate podcast sometime yeah. just about the complaints of content creators online. Oh my god! Oh my I guess. feel like that would be For so. Real. Good. We oh. could go off. That would be a long ass podcast. But I, I actually want to do that. Yeah. Like, that would be. So we can just fun. sit and yeah. day drink all day and just like oh complain about yeah. content down. creation. Can we like get yes. a mimosas yeah. and <laughs> For real, that would be yeah. fun. I'm down for and it. And I could talk that about that forever. Like that would and be like really good though and like educational too yeah. because like mm-hmm. I feel like so many people get taken advantage of. Absolutely. Like, so Because true. like the brand that reached out to me and probably the brand that reached out to you probably did get some people like, oh my God, totally, I'll do this. And it's like, dude, no. Like yeah, you're if, working for free if at it that didn't point. work, they like, wouldn't seriously, do it. don't do that. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. it's like not enough people talk about it or discuss mm-hmm. it. And so I've honestly tried to like even though my blog started out as like a travel blog and will always be that at its core, I've also tried to add in a lot of like business side of things just because I do feel like so many people sell themselves short. And like, Mm -hmm. I see people who have like, like my friend, not gonna name drop, but like has like a ton of followers on Instagram, like 32K Mm -hmm. and has only done a couple sponsored posts. Like, and she, and they're with big companies, like, Mm -hmm. you know, so I know if she just like, pitched herself or like things like that that she could totally monetize her page but I think a lot of people just don't even know where to start or like understand that like you have to pitch yourself and like things Mm -hmm. like that like I think a lot of people think that like brands will just find you and reach out to you but yeah at least on my end I feel like I pitch about as many brands that pitch me yeah yeah I mean that's what you have to do though you know you gotta put yourself out there it is extremely hard to get um views if you're not willing to spend like hundreds of thousands of dollars okay that's probably a little irrational but like <laughs> if you're not willing to spend wow you're like, loaded where you lauren this yeah <laughs> millions of only dollars fans? Yeah. it's your only fans <laughs> um so to like get to like the top of like google page ranks especially if you're like a topic that's like talked about a lot that's not like like travel is not really like a very like specific like niche topic you know like a lot of people talk about traveling a lot of people talk about destinations so like if you're trying to like run up against like companies like travelocity and stuff like that you're going to have to have a lot more money and like i guess like time to like dedicate to it if you're going to want to like beat those people in terms of like page rank on google's main page because that's like what drives most traffic even if you have an Instagram with like 300K, very little, like maybe 2% or less of your traffic from your blog will come from Instagram. So I guess what I use to build traffic the most is honestly like Pinterest and then just basic like SEO tips. Like, Mm -hmm. so I have one pen that drives at least like 700 or 800 clicks to my page a month. And that's just like one pen. So you just have to get, I guess, really good at making shareable, content and then like marketing it to pinterest while like manipulating pinterest like seo type deal and like yeah working with their algorithm but yeah if you can just get like a couple pens like honestly like three or four that just drive traffic you can get you know like four thousand page views a month or something nice i'm very educated yeah yeah Yeah, if you guys hear another quarantine activity learn how to start a blog because it sounds really difficult yeah so do that yeah something to waste your time on yeah (laughs) talk about anything but i would say if you're talking about like a more like niche topic but that's not like it's niche but it has a big group within it like not a lot of people know about it but the people that pay attention to it are like really interested in it then it's going to be a lot easier for you to grow that page because You're not going to be competing with a lot of people, but you're going to have like very loyal audience members. Whereas like travel is a loose topic. Like not a lot of people will dedicate their entire lives to traveling, but a lot of people will dedicate their whole lives to like a specific type of computer programming or things like that. So I feel like if you're doing like more niche, then it's going to be easier to grow in that way. But like broad topics like fashion or travel are like hard to get up there with. Yeah. I've always had a problem with like, finding a niche like especially with this podcast too Mm -hmm. is i love so many different things that i just want to talk about everything you know i just want to entertain people you know yeah and so i feel like it does make it slightly harder to grow because you don't get such a dedicated audience but Mm -hmm. it makes a whole lot more fun oh my gosh yeah yeah, it is so fun it is it is very hard to stay in niche which is why i started Mm -hmm. like 
a separate page just for like business stuff, like business and freelance stuff, because I was like, if I start talking about only business and freelance on my like travel and lifestyle page, yeah. people are going to be like, we don't follow you for this. Like, why yeah. are you posting this shit? So. Yeah. <laughs> Peace uh, and blessings. <laughs> another quarantine activity um, that I'm doing with my friends right now is me and all my friends that can't grow facial hair very well are all growing mustaches right now. Oh, so God. We're like I'll start too. four days Let's deep. I don't know. Yeah, I feel gay. like I had to say something because it's yeah. probably picking up on the camera a little bit. And it's just like. You got to disclaim. Yeah. 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 As, yeah. Be like, it actually is growing. It might it's, not connect. It's, but it's, growing, it's growing, but the the point of it is I can't do this normally because I won't go out like this. But since I'm at home for True. a month, mm -hmm. you know, why not? Yeah, yeah might exactly. as well go for it. You know. True. So Sydney, now it's your turn to take the hot seat. Yeah, just go off. Go <laughs> off about, about something. Talk about YouTube. Talk about how you grew your YouTube when you started it. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Talk about SEO. Yeah. The Explore and Lauren podcast. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I've been hijacked. <laughs> yeah. um, wow. Uh, when did I start my YouTube? I started my YouTube when I was a freshman in college. Also, I'm graduated. <laughs> I graduated last year. She graduated. Yeah. Congrats. <laughs> uh, thanks. And yeah, so that's when I started my YouTube channel. And it was, yeah, like going back to like the whole like niche thing and everything. It was more like college related, like girly stuff, like thrown in some like beauty and like fashion like kind of like still knowing though like i'm not like a beauty guru like i'm not a james charles like i'm just i'm just not but um like just doing I that just stuff like, for, like serum yeah like, i just love a good serum and like a good baby cream, i don't you know like I mean? that word serum serum. <laughs> serum mist serum i feel like it sounds like what it does yeah what is it it just it soaks into you it just you just get serum that noise <laughs> 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 Some uh. ASMR. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, like my niche was more like college related, definitely. And that's where like my channel got its like boost from. And so now that's like a struggle of mine. And I've still been like struggling with it because like I don't have that like same dedicated audience as like when I was in college. I'm just not as interesting anymore, <laughs> like to be frank, you know? Mm -hmm. And so like I struggle a little bit there. So like I've been trying to do like content that could be like post-grad related like big girl job stuff and like other things yeah. like that and I want to jump even more so into like these kind of like influencer tips and stuff because like I do social media like for my big girl job and then also like freelancing as well I like how you call it your big girl job. yeah where do you work in right give now. A plug. yeah <laughs> <laughs> so I work at the push agency right now it's just like a promotional marketing agency and I'm on their influencer That's and fun. social media marketing division. Yeah. So like I want to do more videos like that because I feel like there's like kind of we were just like saying like there's not enough out there to like educate people like on both ends of it about like this crazy world. Um, but then also like post grad like realness, you know, like yeah. that I would rather be doing homework than like doing work work sometimes you know mm -hmm. like <laughs> yeah. i feel like everyone wants to see what's behind the curtain too so yes. if you can show them something they don't readily have access to people will be all over that yeah totally well like, and i really like sydney and i's positioning because it's like we've been on both sides of the fence like mm -hmm. we've been on the side of like the influencer side of it but then we've also been on like the flip side of like the actual like social media manager like yeah side of it yeah yeah so it's like an interesting perspective for sure and i feel like it gives me, well, oops, sorry, Mike. Um, <laughs> it, I like talk with my hands too much. It gives like me a little bit more respect to brands that reach out to me like as the influencer. I said that like really influencer um, because <laughs> you know, okay. I feel like I was the only one who picked up on that. Like that. Hi. Um, but yeah, I feel like I have more respect now for those like brands that do reach out to me professionally not asking ridiculous asks of yeah. me you know um but yeah and then also like going back to my youtube channel and everything and also bringing in steven again hi steven if you watch this um but like it's a struggle like honestly and i've talked to him about this before like plenty of times because i complain about it all the time but like since i'm dating him i like don't like him showing me a lot mm -hmm. because his audience then comes to my page yeah. and wants like they, they only follow me to see more of him and so i'm like get away from me i post girly fashion stuff i'm not like posting like thirst trap p 
picks like yeah. you know like yeah and, and you're not like an extension of steven yeah, also like, like i, I don't want Sydney. people to follow me as steven's like keychain yeah. like, yes. they're gonna like message you <laughs> hi steven's girlfriend yeah literally like there's like you know like the really like weird like followers you know that are like hi sydney um I know that you're dating Steven. Can you please tell him to like send me money? I really need money. And I'm like, do you think we're rich? Because we're like, I'm like, rich. I'm actually going up to him right now. The yeah. mere PayPal <laughs> will be coming in soon. Yeah. I mean, I can relate to that to a certain extent though, because I've never had like a huge channel, yeah. but I have gone to like, I've gone to VidCon quite a few times. Uh -huh. And every time I go to VidCon, I meet some kind of like large YouTuber there mm -hmm. and um, probably won't name drop as well. But um I've had some collaborations with some people who are, you know, like bigger mm -hmm. and it's like my whole comment section is just people talking about them. And I'm like, I, I made this. Yeah, like, Why aren't you talking I'm about relevant. me? Yeah. <laughs> I made this. <laughs> it's like, honestly, it's a little bit of like, you know, a stab to the heart a mm -hmm. little because it's like, OK, don't follow me to see like more of him. Follow me to see me i'm not his yeah. behind the scenes page come yes. on yeah. yes exactly. Yeah. exactly so like he fully knows that and like there's been more than like plenty of like opportunities for me to be like really involved in like daily dropout and everything but i straight up like i'm like no i don't just mm -hmm. want like a bunch of followers that aren't interested in me like yeah. well you're I not want... a prank account like, yeah <laughs> i'm yeah. not like mm -hmm. <laughs> i mean is it ever, is it ever... Like... <laughs> Is it ever tempting though? Because it, it seems like like the easy way out, you know. Yes. Yeah. It's definitely tempting. When I was like in college, I'd say more like when I started my YouTube channel, like freshman sophomore year, I was like super tempted by it. That's how I met Dawson. Was he pranked me, and then like we became friends, and that's <laughs> and how I met Steven. Steven. Fell in love. Yeah. Like what literally. What a romance <laughs> story. Yeah, but and so like it was really tempting, and like Dawson, he. He had me try <laughs> to do a prank once, and I'm just, I'm not good at it. That's why you don't see me on Daily Dropout, because I'm not good at it. And no, I, I also don't want that attention either. Yeah. I'm just, like, not about it. Um, but, yeah, it was, like, really tempting at the time. And then I, like, realized, I was, like, wait, these are, like, not authentic followers that I don't want. They're just, like, a bunch of horny dudes mm -hmm. from, like, all over the globe I who do. don't care about me. And like, yeah, they're just like, oh my god, you are so beautiful. I love you. Wow. I'm like, and I'm like, get out of my DMs. <laughs> I actually haven't respond to my caption. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I guess as a guy, I just don't think about it that much. But hearing this perspective, I mean, it makes sense because a lot of times, like, I uh, there was like a span of time where I followed like the guys in phase a lot, mm -hmm. and all their girlfriends were considered an extension of them. Like, mm -hmm. Alyssa Violet for a long time was banks's girlfriend yeah you know yeah and she was big before they got together mm -hmm. and after yeah and so it's kind of crazy now to think about it. i really never thought about it that way yeah. but that's kind of messed up yeah, yeah it cool. really does suck and then it's like another just side note thing that sucks about the internet is just like so if you don't have like a very like small frame so like i i wouldn't consider us like thick bitches yeah. but like i don't know lauren <laughs> <laughs> we're like medium thick yeah. like a medium rare thick uh, like that a is little we're medium thick. Rare. slim thick is the correct yes Ooh. there yes, you go yes. so we are thick. slim thick with that cute ass yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like damn girl you thicker than a bowl of oatmeal <laughs> exactly that is the level of thickness that we are <laughs> thicker than oatmeal yeah. but so if like <laughs> just a non-slim thick girl posts like a picture right and she's just yeah. like walking away like into the sunset on the beach it's like this beautiful like travel wonderlust like awe-spiring amazing so feminine so girly going, so beautiful ah uh, poise grace <laughs> but then if sydney takes the same picture it's slutty oh yeah and it's whorish and it's asking it's for attention peach emoji yeah <laughs> yeah it's Just peach emoji peaches. yeah asking for attention yep. only valuing her body yeah. like and it's just this like hoe thing. Uh -huh. And the responses from it are so gross. Like all the men that will be in your DMs, like mm -hmm. literally, like these men have no dignity. It's no. always Mike the no. trucker. It's yeah. always, I, I literally go, I don't know if anybody else does this, but I'll go on like popular influencers pages yeah. after they post a picture that could be considered provocative. And I'll click on <laughs> all the, the, the yeah, profiles of the yes. weird guys. Yes. And I'm like, all right, Sadiq, this is a little weird. Yeah, They always, oh. and they're like, they will literally be like, can I stick my penis in your ass? I'm like, wow, you guys are really bold out here. Out there, yeah. Like, I'm about to respond. Yes, 
here's my address thank you yes <laughs> and then after that we fell in love yeah. like <laughs> that's how my parents got together actually yeah. my mom posted a picture on instagram my dad sent the peach and then the eggplant emoji and she was just it was over yep the rest was history that was it yeah yep. yes <laughs> uh, yeah it that. sucks being a woman on the internet because then it on really the flip does. side if you aren't like this super slim thick girl they're like oh she's a little girl like she's like they just like view you as a child which is even more disgusting yeah. So it's just like a constant like battle of mm -hmm. like trying to do anything without someone like turning into you like into like a sex object. Yeah. You know? yeah. I feel like Twitch is the worst oh. for all this because there is the people who are running the situation you're talking about. But then there are girls who make it worse for the other girls who are actually just trying, like literally ex just using their sexuality to get followers yeah. without making yeah. actual content. Yeah. Like Definitely. there are girls who are on the explore page or the just chatting page yeah. or whatever, just like like half naked and they got like their board behind them and like when they get a subscriber, they like bend all the way over yeah. and, and, it's, and it's obnoxious. And then every other girl in the community gets, I don't know, like grouped into that because yeah. of the- It's almost like an expectation. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, very true. And it's like also to disclaim, you know, like no shame to like those girls, you know, yeah. it's your body, you do you, yes. you know, you do your hustle. But like, that doesn't mean that every single girl on the internet is gonna be like that, yeah. you know, like. And I like Belle Delphine though, shout out Belle Delphine. Where'd you go? She disappeared. <laughs> I would like to add, even if I post a picture of my full asshole, that does not mean I want your comments about it. Maybe I just like my asshole like, okay, and I just okay. want to post a if picture of it. If you post a picture of your entire asshole, you're probably going to get one racy comment. I think okay. you have to accept yeah, that. Yeah. But, okay. but I'll take one. All right. But like, yeah, maybe I just took a cute picture on the beach and I just want to post yeah. it. Like maybe it's not about you, how you see it. I don't care if you totally. think it's sexy. I never asked. Yeah. Like, yeah. keep yeah. that shit to yourself. True. True. Retweet. Like, <laughs> save, send. Oh man! I mean, the internet's just—it's wild. It's like, I was wow. I was twelve years old making gaming videos, and the amount of death threats I got is oh nuts. God. I mean, it's wild yeah. out here, man. Me on yeah. Tumblr at twelve, being like, I can code. <laughs> Wait, where did that? What? Wait, oh my gosh. <laughs> save. That was me on MySpace, though. Right. I would like be a legit coder on MySpace. I don't under. Oh, are you guys talking like setting up your pages or something? Yeah. And yes, oh. but I would go change like, out all the code of like yes. the layout that you chose. You're Seriously, like, mm, I want this to look like this, and you're just like literally hop in there and you're like cop like and then you're like yeah that's right the background is now purple yeah like i'd be like okay i need a new header and i want it to be glittery exactly i mean that's me now i mean that's what i do now in college yeah but we were doing it at like 12 and like i could have been a freelance web designer at 12 and i was sleeping on myself oh my gosh you should do a i'll set up your tumblr page for 50 dollars. you can go on fiverr and have like a premium set up your tumblr page for 50 bucks I I'm a business was man. a Tumblr. I was business. a Tumblr girl. I was big into Tumblr. Yeah. I'm sure you were. You know I was an emo I mean, girl. You know I was yeah. an emo kid. We all there. Had my scene kid face. E emo yeah. girl to e girl. What a transition. Yeah. Really? Seriously, I literally went from scene kid to e girl. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh wow. Wow. So quarantine <laughs> activities, guys. But that just went on oh my the God, longest tangent. This is a whole new Literally, podcast topic. We, yeah, I'm like about to make the title. Quarantine activities turned content creator rant <laughs> slash feminism content yeah. creator yes. rant. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. A clusterfuck of topics from beautiful women. And that is what, yes, all of us beautiful women. Yes, yes. Honestly, beautiful I. Beautiful women and Seth. <laughs> Beautiful women and beautiful stuff. Yes. There, you go. there we yeah. go. There yeah. go. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I mean, we're running on 50 minutes here. We could just call it there. I mean, do you guys have anything else you'd like to say about quarantine or uh, podcast or content creation at all? Because we will come back for a second podcast regarding yes. content creation. I'd say circling back to quarantine the reason why we're all here yeah, right. <laughs> we talked about that for 10 minutes literally literally we scratched 10 minutes the surface hey it's like, all for the clickbait yeah true, yep. true 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 um but i would say in quarantine definitely you know like stay busy like mm -hmm. and i feel like it's really really hard like working from home like legit i'm annoying we were supposed to do this yesterday but like i was a sad little potato and i'm like i can't leave the house right now i'm like i just want to cuddle my dog and like watch 
Disney movies. Like I can't, I can't leave the house. And but I'm here. I made it. Hi. Um, yes. Thank you for coming. Home. Yes. Hello, <laughs> hi. Thanks. Um, but definitely like stay busy. Find something to do that like makes you happy. Like I picked up um, Photoshop. Like I've been teaching myself Photoshop for my freelance clients. So like I can be like, look what I can do. And like it makes me happy. And I've been like filling my time with that a lot. But like other things also little plug not sponsored um nothing sponsored yet. on this podcast for future reference <laughs> everything we talk about it's not sponsored bro. yeah <laughs> yeah lps sponsor us please yeah. <laughs> um but there's this website that i discovered people probably already know about it this isn't like cool and new and amazing but thrift books like cheap used books you can didn't know about that. buy yeah, that's really wow that's, thriftbooks.com yeah. like literally um i've been meaning to buy girl on the train for it's four dollars sydney we should website. do a book swap <gasps> i'm down yeah i need to get back because i have reading. a ton of books yeah. that i have finished reading that i just yeah 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 down. i would um, also recommend not that i think we should push like diet culture or that it's bad if you like gain some weight during quarantine but staying active is so important and i know it's true. so hard to like exercise sometimes but just like find an exercise you like and something that doesn't feel like torture like if you feel like you're dragging yourself to do it then like don't do, don't it. do it like do like find like i promise there is a free exercise class out there that you can find that you yeah. will enjoy even if it's like yoga or like you know something like that just find something that you like and do it because it's good for your endorphins you know gets your blood flowing go outside heart pumping. yes yes get some vitamin c yeah. vitamin c yeah vitamin d vitamin d yes science. vitamin d <laughs> science yeah <laughs> soak up that sun lay on the roof of your parking garage if the pool at your apartment is closed because chances are no one will be up there wait i did that yesterday did i send you a picture of that you did not i just bring a pillow towel book oh that's ex- i literally did that yesterday that's awesome. it's amazing yeah and no one's up there that's yeah. cool yeah so i'm like germs not getting me up here do you guys think you'll wear masks when you go out now no actually oh my gosh when we went to Walmart this morning, I got really excited about that. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> I was like, a relevant topic. But um, when we went to Walmart this morning, Stephen and I forgot our masks because, like, Dawson bought, like, a pack of masks for everybody, like, in the house. Nice. And to, like, because we don't want to bring the germs back and everything because we're all living together now. And we forgot the masks. And literally when we were at Walmart, we felt, like, stupid. Like, we were saying to each other because everyone was wearing masks and, like, gloves and everything. And we're like holy shit like we look like those ignorant millennials like who just don't want to like take part in this because everyone was wearing masks and like i felt awful like i felt terrible that yeah I now that masks. the cdc has like officially recommended everyone wears a mask yeah. i feel like everyone is except for the president but it's another <laughs> topic i mean my beef with gloves is the point of gloves is like it's like having an extra layer on your hands yeah. right so you touch something the gloves are already contaminated so i mean Taking off the gloves is the same as washing your hands. So I just don't really see the point in gloves because Mm. you can't touch this and then touch your steering wheel because you just contaminated both. You know? So it's like. I was kind of like thinking that too. I'm like. You have to use the glove and take it off. Not the masks, though. I just. I think masks are. Yeah. My friend, uh, my roommate, self plug for her. She's making $10 hand sewn masks if anyone would like to purchase a mask. Cute. But yeah, I definitely think I'll probably wear a mask or like yeah. a Free scarf on since I can't over find a mask. By the way. Oh, okay, <laughs> let me just order a thousand dollars worth of masks. The last thing I want to say as a quarantine activity is there's a website called Watch Together, but it's like a two and then gather, and you can go on there and watch YouTube videos at the same time as your friends. Oh, that's fun. So you can oh, all watch cute. them at the same time. Yes. So watch the rest of the podcasts on that and with subscribe. your friends yes but most importantly Bye. stay inside thank you guys for coming on follow us on instagram